Good morning, Stampers. Sorry, I'm a couple of minutes late. I was uh, experiencing some problems getting my phone hooked up here. Okay, I'm just gonna set up my iPad so I can see your comments. Be sure to say hi as you pop in. Let me know you're watching, whether it's live or if it's in the future by watching the replay. Okay, where is my video here? Here we go. Okay, happy Friday to you too, Mary Liz, and hello, Shirley. All right, um, so my name is Sherry Roth. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada, and every Friday at 11 a.m., well, I should say most Fridays at 11 a.m., I come to you live with um, some projects. Usually, they're usually on the simple side. Good morning, Christine. Just because I'm a simple stamper. and um, But I love to share. So I love these Friday morning lives. Uh, you have the opportunity of winning this week's project by commenting on the Facebook post, whether it's live or the replay. You can comment today up until the day before the next live. Um, I do upload these replays to uh, YouTube as well so you can comment on the YouTube video if you're watching via YouTube and if you share this video whether it's through Facebook or on YouTube then you get five entries so that's always where where I start and so this is the project that we created last week we were playing with spectrum pads so this is the project that I'm drawing for so I've got everybody's name who commented on the post or shared the post all of those names are in here. I'm gonna draw for a winner and then I will pop it in the mail. Surely, look at that. I think that's the first time you won, isn't it? All right, so I will set that aside for you. Okay, uh, so we're gonna jump right in here. I'm gonna rotate the camera up down so that you can see what I'm doing and we will go ahead and get started. How this looks here. Okay, all right, so today we will be crafting using the Happiness Blooms suite in the Occasions catalog. Uh, now this is a suite that I have been using with my M&M Club, which I I call it my M&M Club, it's the Memories and More Club. So there is a Memories and More card pack that coordinates with this. And for my Memories and More Club, what we do is we pick a grouping of products and we focus on those products for four months. So we've been working with this suite for four months. So we've been using the cards and the patterned paper. Sometimes we use the stamp sets, we've been using the uh, enamel dots, but I throw in other stamp sets as well. So we've been creating with this suite a long time. Um, and after, towards the last month, because this is the last month, it's been going since January. So towards the end, I always like to challenge myself, especially if there's patterned paper, I like to challenge myself to use up what's left. And after making some cards, which I'll share with you in a bit, this is all that I have left for the patterned paper. So I'm super excited. I still have more cards than I would like, so I still need to work on that. But as far as the patterned paper, this is all that I have left. Um, and this makes me feel good because I know that very little is going to waste. Like I'm okay if I toss this out, um, but I might still try to use up a few bits and pieces here before it retires. All right, so that's just, I don't know. I'm kind of odd that way, but I like to try to get the most out of my supplies as I can. Um, okay, so on Wednesday, I posted on my blog this card. I made, like I said, I was trying to use up some of the patterned paper because the class, the Memories and More class has been planned. Um, and so I made six of these cards using the patterned paper. So, And this is a great card design. Good morning, Beth. This is a great card design if you have lots of paper that you want to get through. So it uses a relatively large piece here and then 
a smaller piece here. So I made six of these and then I made a bunch of these cards as well. So again, I'm all about working smarter, not harder. Um, so I really liked this card design, so I made a bunch of these using the same card design, just using different patterned papers. And I changed up the greeting because it was for a different reason. So I think I made 12 or 13 of these ones, and then six of those. So here's me plowing through that paper pack. And then I've got some more cards to share with you, two more cards to share with you today that use this paper pack as well. Okay, yes, I love that stamp set too. Okay, so the first project is this one here. Now this says welcome to the team. The one I make today is not gonna say welcome to the team. I'm gonna change up the greeting, but I made several of these to welcome new team members last month. Um, and it's just like a little front flap card. And we are going to do a, another version of that card here today as well. So it's a little bit different, but um, I just, I thought this was a really cute design. Uh, and you could easily switch up the the patterned paper and even this focal point to work with whatever you had on hand. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. As far as pieces go, this is what you'll need. You will need your background piece, which it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's just a quarter of a sheet. So you can get four out of one eight and a half by 11. Then your DSP will be uh, four inches by five and a quarter. So you can get six out of one sheet. And then this little flap measures two and three quarters by eight and a half. And you can get four of those out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11. And we are gonna score this at four and a quarter inches. Okay, and then you're going to need, well, it depends on what you're doing for your focal point. Sorry, that's my printer going off there. Um, you're gonna need, need two pieces of white. So one will be for the inside here, actually, and they both start off the same size. And this piece measures two and a half by four. One will be for the inside and one will be for cutting our rectangle. And then we need a layer for our rectangle. So this is a piece of Call Me Clover and it measures two and three eighths by three and three quarters. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to cut this with the Big Shot and we are going to use my favorite, the stitched rectangles. And we're using the fourth smallest one in this largest collection here. Okay, so I'll bring in my Big Shot. You gotta love a nice clean mat, hey? It's a little bit more marked up than last week, but still looks really good. And remember these ones, you want to, you don't wanna put them straight in. You want to have a corner going first. So we'll feed that through and then we'll start some stamping. Okay. Okay, and now this is a photopolymer stamp, so I do highly recommend that you use a stamp and pierce mat um, because it is also a bolder image as well. And you'll have a much better impression if you use the mat underneath rather than have a hard surface. surface. And if you don't have the stamp and pierce mat, um, you can use, even if you have a magazine or a catalog or something like that, you could stick that underneath. You just need some sort of cushion. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a greeting, and I chose a greeting from this stamp set, the Abstract Impression stamp set, because in the Bloom by Bloom stamp set, there is no greetings. Um, and I'm going to use this Kindness Changes Everything greeting. Okay, that says, I'll have to make a thank you card using this for my friend. She's looking for something that she, and I can't read the rest. I'll go back and read it afterwards. It only shows me a portion of the comments on my screen here. Okay, so I'm using Memento Black Ink, and I'm just gonna line this up. Let's move this out of the way so I can see. 
the edges a bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up kind of in the corner. I think that looks straight. Move that out of the way. Okay, so now we've got that, and I'm just gonna give that a quick clean because I'm going to need to use that on the next card as well, and we're gonna use it in a different color. Still loving my chamois. Okay, so let's do some more stamping. So I've got the smaller stem and leaf image, and I'm going to stamp it in Call Me Clover. And I'm going to do it just like this. And then, I'm gonna take, bring in my Calypso Coral and use this, this small little floral image which matches the patterned paper. Oh, I just inked up, oh my gosh. I just inked up my stamp like this. I just basically inked my block. Okay, I need to grab a Kleenex so that otherwise I get ink all over everything. Um, and I don't have any Kleenex. Okay, let's use my chamois here. Okay, the joys of live craft crafting, hey? Okay, I've got it the right way this time. Stamp down. I'm glad I realized before I stuck it to my cardstock. Okay, and then I'm going to position it right in here, make sure it fits and it's not going off of my cardstock. And there we go, so that's our focal point. Um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to stamp another one on the inside of the card. I think it would be pretty with a little bit decorated on the inside, and I should do the envelope as well. So I'm actually, for this one, just because there's not a ton of room to write, I'm just gonna do the flower for that. And then we'll bring in the envelope and we'll stamp one in the corner. I'm gonna do the stem first. Okay. And then we'll give this one a little stamp. And now we have an envelope to match because you guys know that I like to do that. Okay, so let's start assembling here. Okay, so we're gonna take our card base. So this isn't actually a card that opens up. It just opens up from the front. So it's got a little front flap. Okay, so we'll add our patterned paper. And so this, this leaves about an eighth of an inch all the way around. And then we are going to fold our strip, add some adhesive to the back of this. Stick it in the middle. This is a really simple card design. And I think it's stunning. Okay, this piece goes on the inside. It's amazing what a little pretty patterned paper can do. All right, and then this gets stuck onto our Call Me Clover. just needs to be trimmed just ever so slightly. I'm just gonna grab my other paper cutter. So I find this one is a better paper cutter to trim just slivers off. There we go. Okay, 
And then we're gonna pop this on using dimensionals. So does anybody have any plans to craft this weekend? I um, have lots of stuff to do as I prepare to go to Vancouver for on stage next weekend. So I gotta work on my team gifts. And then I come back for a day and then I head to Houston with Ethan for robotics. So I've got to get all my work stuff done, blog posts and everything. So I've got a busy weekend ahead. Okay, so there we go. That was so quick. I mean, you could easily whip up a bunch of these. And I just love that saying, kindness changes everything. Okay, so that was the first card. And we're going to do a little bit of a different version of that same card. And this is what it looks like here. So instead of being horizontal, we are gonna do a vertical version. So, and this is another one of my favorite patterns. I know that, oh, Mary Liz, you're working on your spot for Vancouver? Yeah, that's one of the things on my list too. Um, I know that some people in the club do not like this patterned paper. But I don't know, I'm drawn to this pineapple punch color. I, I'm not sure why, because I am not a yellow lover but there's just something about it. Maybe because it's just so bright and I think it looks striking with the red. So for our pieces for this card, we want again, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of pineapple punch as our base. Sorry, I'm just trying to move things off. I've got the stamps with ink on them and I don't want to get them all over my projects here. Okay. All right, so we're starting with a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of pineapple. And then we've got a piece of lovely lipstick that measures four by five and a quarter. So you can get four of each of those out of a eight and a half by 11. And then this piece, so this is gonna be our center card. This piece measures three and a quarter by six and a half. And we are going to score it at three and a quarter inches. And that's gonna be our little cool card in the center. And then we have another piece of lovely lipstick that measures three by three that we're gonna do some stamping on. This piece is gonna go on the inside and that measures three by three as well. And then we need a scrap of white to stamp our greeting, which I've done on the sample. I've done it in black, but I'm gonna do it in Night of Navy just to tie in the navy little dots that I've added on the flowers. Um, and then we need two pieces of the DSP, and these pieces measure three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters. Those are gonna go at the top and the bottom. And then I am using the punches that coordinate with this stamp set. And two of these punches, these two here, I'm not sure if you, reminds you of Chinese fireworks. Yeah, it does kind of, hey? Um, these two punches here, I'm not sure how well you can see them. Oh, here, let's flip them over so you can see the, the shapes. They coordinate with these flowers. So this one coordinates with this flower and this one coordinates with these flowers. So we're gonna punch out a few of those and use those on our card as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's do our stamping first. So we are going to, what do we wanna do? We wanna use this one and we're gonna do it on the Stamping Pierce mat. We're gonna use this little image that mimics this, this guy from the patterned paper. We're using lovely lipstick ink. And I'm just gonna stamp all over it to give it a subtle pattern. Okay. So we've got our subtle pattern. Actually, while I've got the stamp out, I'm also gonna stamp one in the corner here, and then we'll stamp one on the envelope as well. Actually, let's do a few. Okay. All right, and then we are, the other thing that we need to stamp is our greeting. So I'm going to use this piece here 
Has SU ever had a set of Chinese Zodiac animal stamps? I don't think they've had um, like symbols, but I don't know that they've had any Zodiac animal stamps. Oh, and I'm using the wrong color. I wanted to use navy. Okay, let's clean this. And we will pull in the Knight of Navy. I'm hoping that this is inked enough. I stand a little bit of ink, but we'll make do. So I'm just gonna stamp this in the center and then I'm gonna use my stitched shapes, one of the ovals, to, um, to punch it out or big shot it out. Okay, there we go. Now we'll bring in, oh, let's pull out the frame that we need first. I'm going back to my stitched shapes, still one of my favorites, use them often, often, often. Um, so I'm using the second largest oval to cut this out. And then I'll pull in my big shot. And let's see here. Okay, that looks good. <clears throat> Now we've got most of our pieces here, so let's start assembling. So this guy's gonna go in the center of the yellow. I may actually do a version of one of these as my swap for on stage. I'm not sure. Haven't committed to anything just yet. And I'm going to add my strips of patterned paper. And you want to leave about an eighth of an inch on the three sides. And then flip it around and do the same on the other end. Okay. And then this guy gets folded and stuck in the middle of the card. Just like that. This guy goes in the center. Of this one. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this color com combination? Lovely lipstick and pineapple punch? I can't say it's a color combination that I would use often. It's not like my petal pink and calypso coral color combination. But when you're looking for something fun and bright, it is kind of fun. I like it. Okay, now this guy's gonna get popped up using dimensionals. Oh, I guess we should put it right, right around. And then I was thinking for this card, instead of doing these flowers, I think I'm gonna do these flowers and I'm gonna do them in coral. So see how it lines up perfectly? So I'm gonna do three of them in coral and then I'm gonna put navy enamel dots in the center, but before I add these, I am actually, I'm gonna make them sparkly by adding a bit of Wink of Stella to them. I'm just gonna need to trim. I'm probably 
probably would have been easier to add the wink of Stella before I punched them out. But it was kind of an afterthought. Okay, so I'm just gonna color the flower with a bit of wink of Stella just to make it a bit shimmery. I'm gonna do that for each one. Okay. All right, so now we can pop these onto the card base. So I'm gonna do one kind of up here. Yes, I could hold them with the sticky end of the take your pick tool. You're right, Mary Liz. One on here and then one right beside it. I think we'll use a mini dimensional for that one. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use my fingers and kind of give them a bit of dimension here. So they're coming up off the page. Oh, I think I've got adhesive under that side. Okay, and then I'm gonna use some of the coordinating enamel dots. And I'm going to pull in the navy for two reasons. First of all, because I stamped this in navy I want to pull in the navy because there's no navy anywhere else. And second of all, I don't have any yellow left. I've used all the yellow. There we go. One more. Perfect, there we go. So all done. So there's the two versions of that card. And then here are the two versions, although they're not very different. Well, neither of them are very different of that one. So kind of like a little front, front open or front flip card. I'm not sure how to describe these, but super cute, very easy. I mean, what did that take me? It, it took me less than half an hour to make two of those. It probably took me less than 15 minutes to, take, to make both of them. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. If there's product that you guys want to order, the April host code is right there for you to use. You can visit my online store at stamptreasures.com and with your $50 order, I'll send you a little treat. And be sure to comment and share this, this video so that you can be entered to win these. Um, also, just a heads up before I go is I will be away next Friday and the following Friday. So you're welcome, Christine. Um, I will have videos posted at 11 a.m., but they will not be live videos. So you can still comment on them on either the Facebook post that I post them on or on YouTube, and I will still do a draw for the projects. And next week is really cute. I think you guys will really like next week. It's a fun fold, and it's one that I had never done before, and I love how it came together. So I think you guys will really, really like that. Okay? So thanks so much for watching and I will chat with you soon. Take care. Have a great weekend.